the bird should technically move forward and fly. You ready? All right, three, two, one. Hold on to your butt. The universe is in us. For science! I'm Nick U.S., host of Science Show Nickopedia. We're looking at the magic and monsters of the mobile RPG Summoner's War to find out what science lurks underneath. Today, we're looking at the Fire Harpy, Lukasha. The Fire Harpy is a great attack monster and perfect for the Necropolis dungeon. Her third skill, Wolf Hunt, attacks a random enemy six times and hits extremely hard. Her first ability is an airborne attack where she flies right at the enemy and kicks them in the face. A harpy is a mythological creature known for having a woman's head and body with a bird's wings and claws. Basically, half woman, half bird. The fire harpy attacks with her legs and flies by flapping her arms like a bird. As a science guy, I was immediately intrigued by this possibility of a creature that stands upright like a person, but achieves flight like a bird. Flight is primarily made possible by the science of this special shape called the airfoil. All wings formulated for flight are shaped like airfoils. The wing is curved on top and flat on the bottom. When a wing is traveling through the air, it creates low pressure on top of the wing and high pressure below it. The wing also creates downward flowing air at the back of the wing. Together, these two actions create lift and allow the object with wings to fly. In order for air to pass over the wing, birds and airplanes must create thrust. Birds achieve this by flapping their wings, and planes via engines. Birds, unlike humans, have evolved several flight-oriented attributes. Some are obvious, like lightweight, smooth feathers to reduce weight and drag. And another is an enlarged sternum to attach their massive breast muscles, which in turn produces thrust. They also have beaks instead of heavy jaw bones and teeth. And their bones are basically hollow to reduce weight. Okay, let's try to imagine our real-life Lukasha. First off, an average adult male would need a wingspan over 6.7 meters, or nearly 22 feet, to fly. That's nearly twice the length of the southern royal albatross at 11 feet. Those massive wings themselves would be added weight, so real-life Lukasha has to reduce weight somehow. Human bones are very dense to support our skeletons. Your femur, or thigh bone, can support up to 30 times the weight of the body. But what if they were hollow, like a bird's? Well, the average adult female femur is 17 to 18 inches long, has a diameter of 1 inch, and weighs 9.2 ounces. Even if we whittled Lukasha's femurs down just to support the body itself, reducing it 29 times, this saves just under 15% of body mass. Impressive! but it's still not enough to counterbalance the new muscles, connective tissue, and bones of those massive flappers. So, while we're not that show, we can say that Lukasha, our mythical harpy monster, would be busted in real life. That's gonna do it for this episode. We've got new experiments coming up every week looking at the magic and mayhem of Summoner's War. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe, and let us know in the comment section what monsters we should look at next. Don't forget to subscribe to Summoner's War and our partners at Skybound Games. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you really soon.